So what happened in the in between time? Uh, I gave everybody rest. Um, spent five points to do that. I bought two scouts. I bought a scout car so I can hang on to one of my uh, light armor leaders. I had to lose one because I lost two half tracks. So I was able to hold on to one leader, but the other leader I had to lose. Um, I used my medic to repair the casualty on one of my infantry. And um, I think that's it, those three things. And so now my plan is I'm going after their frontline units now. These guys moved up. I used my allied air control to push this supply guy back one space because what I plan on doing in the last turn is to go straight for the HQ and try to blow it up. So um, one thing I wanted to point out is that even in a small three-turn campaign like this, there's a lot of games that you play. Uh, just a lot of, not a lot of opportunities to promote guys um, in the campaign. So, uh, right now I'm going to go after, let's start with the big battle first, the infantry unit. We'll put these guys off to the side. And uh, infantry unit right now is going to be the big target. So we'll come back. This is turn two, battle number one. Okay, so here's the start of turn two. We do special condition, no adjustment, assign units. I'm using this stack to go after them and this stack to go after the 7A. And then we have the event card, no adjustments. And then we place turn counter and I got a scout. So I'm gonna use one scout here that and then place terrain tiles so start up here we go here and we go here that's not good that's very not good a whole big line of heavy terrain for them and very light for me so this is not a good thing and then we've got impassable right here so Maybe it'd be good to set up in this area. All right, so place friendly units. So I've got, so let me uh, stop here so I can set it up. All right, so I placed my mortar and my uh, rifle team here, advanced them here. Uh, everybody else is going to congregate in this light terrain here, which is not totally advantageous. I wish that was heavy, but we've got light here. And so we got some sort of cover and the central location as they come in. All right, so let's start rolling. Let's start with their rifles. Three and three. Right there. The other rifles, four and seven. Let's see, it's four and seven. And T tank guns, these are the big ones. One and one, good, way up in the corner. Armored cars. Six and five. Anti tank, seven and five. Uh, machine guns, ten and nine. Uh, half tracks, two and nine. Uh, half track, half track, half track, two and nine. And then the mortars, nine and six. Nine and six. Okay, so rifle move up two. So one, two, one, two. Machine guns move up one. Machine gun move up one. Uh, Anti-tank moves up one. Rifle moves up two, one. Two, anti-tank. All right, so that's how we're going to start it. Rifle right in my face. And um, so let me organize what I'm gonna do. Oh, let's roll to see what their aggressive level is. 
Let's see, so one to three, they're not aggressive, so they are aggressive. All right, so. All right, so let me uh, set up my battle plans and we'll come right back. All right, I couldn't find in the rule book like what indirect fire is. I assumed it was spotter. In the uh, example, it acted like a spotter, so uh, just setting that up. So we're going to start with the rifle team here. Um, they're fast. That is 901. And so they're going to shoot. They got zero versus... Um, so they get a five. They have to roll five to hit the rifle. And they get one hit. So defense of three, and it's a three, so he survives. All right, so now I don't have... So those armored cars are gonna come into view. Hmm. Let's see. HE, so that'll be a three against him. So, okay, we use the Hellcat. And that is going to be two hits. So three is here. And he's dead. All right, the other fast is experienced rifle team. Oh, could have just used them. All right, anyway. Uh, they're going to save their action because they're just there in case somebody gets through. See, I've got uh, immobile here, impassable, so they can't get to my mortar except for the infantry. So I left one guy there uh, to protect the mortars. And now we move to their tactical. So they get a plus two already because it's the bulge. So that is a 10. And so tank, anti-tank, and armor car, so AP advance. So they're going to move closer. Let's see, anti-tank. Wait, that's anti-tank gun. Uh, anti-tank, AP advance. Where's the other anti-tank? Here we go. Um, armored car already did. Rifle HE advance. So yeah, because the other one's dead. Uh, machine gun HE advance. That's a big matzo ball. Half track HE advanced. We got to go in here. Uh, truck, mortar, anti-tank, advance of cannot attack. So they've got three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So they can attack. Um, and the anti-tank gun, they'll move up here. Okay. All right, so we'll start with the anti-tank because he's going to go after my armor. Uh, so he's got a seven. He moved, so that is an eight, and he misses. Okay, we'll then go to the machine guns. The machine guns will go after the lowest. So that's a three. Machine guns a two. All right, so they're going to go after machine gun after machine gun. So you get two tries. Um, machine guns move, so if they advanced... That's a minus two for advancing. Okay, so minus two. So there are threes, so that becomes fives. Two hits, and then I've got light, so I need threes. And that two of them go through. So two hits on the machine gun. Let's see what we get here. Casualty, casualty, so they're dead. So machine gun is out. That's 921, that's really bad. 
And then the other machine gun is going to go after the rifle team. And that's two hits. So now we've got uh, fours and they both save. All right, now to the rifle teams. Rifle teams are gonna go after these guys. Oh, anti-tank over here going up against my tanks. Uh, that's seven, eight, and they missed. Okay, so anti-tank's done, machine guns are done. So now we got three tries with the rifle. So those are five, six, seven. So that's one hit on the rifle team. Casualty, a lot of casualties here. Um, second rifle team, that is one hit. And then we've got a save of four. Nope. All right, we're, we're really struggling here. Immobile, that's fine. I can take it. All right, and the final rifle. That's two hits, need fours, double hits. This is not looking good for the rifle team. Immobile and mowed down. So this 901, that is not good. Another one bites the dust. All right, so Kelly's off by himself. He's gonna take over, let's see. Can I switch him? I don't know if I can switch him just yet. All right, so half tracks out of range, armored cars. So they have, Armored car minus one for moving and minus one for range. And they're gonna go after the armor. So they need eights, so eight here. Two hits, and then I got twos. All right, so they're going to hit the old, the old half track. That's two hits on the old half track. Let's see what we get here. Glancing. An explosion, holy Moses. The unit destroyed, commander killed, nice. So he's out. This is not looking good whatsoever. And the other armored car, he's gonna go after the scout. And he misses. Whew, that was pretty bloody. All right, so. So let's start with the, let's see, one, two, three, mortar team is gonna go, oh, the mortar teams. He can shoot, so it's six, wait, they moved. Cannot, okay. Or did they move? No, they did not move. So that's six, seven, seven, eight. Need eights? Nope. Eights? Nope. Okay. I'm going to trust that they can handle this mess here. Well, hold off. See if they can handle it. All right, so let's start with the scout car. He has a sevens, and he's gonna go after the anti-tank. Two hits, they need twos, and they're dead. All right, experienced rifle team. They get minus one, so that's fives. Five on the anti-tank, nothing. And then, because he didn't go, and then we've got this guy who's got sevens. 
seven on the anti-tank. Two hits and twos, dead. All right, so these guys are done. Should I use this? I'm going to use this tactic here on the Hellcat, who's going to go after the armored car. So he's marksman, so he doesn't care about it. Uh, six, three. That's one hit. So he gets a two, and he fails, so he's dead. That's good. All right, now the mortar team. Uh, mortar team's got to go after the machine gun team. That's too much of a threat. So he's minus one, so that'll be a six plus three, so that's threes. So he needs uh, a three to hit the machine gun. Double hit, need twos, dead. And oh, experienced rifle team. He's going to go after the machine gun. So he needs fives. He's using up his tactic. And that's a double hit. Twos. Ah! Oh, double save. Oh my goodness. This is not looking good at all. All right, so now we go down a turn. Fast move. All right, Hellcat's going to go after the other armored car. So he's got marksman. So that is threes, so it needs fours, right? Double hit, twos, he's dead. That's good. And then we got this experienced rifle team here. It's gonna go after the machine gun, he's fast. All right, so that's four, fives. Two hits, twos. Not a double hit, to, not a double save this time. All right, got the machine guns out of the way. Those fast guys, yeah, I'm starting to believe in them. All right, so now they go. So let's see what they move to. Five, advance if can attack, advance to cover, caution, advancer. Uh, cautious, advance, advance only if the cannot be attacked. Uh, so the motors are not going to move. Anti-tank guns are not going to move. That's good. And... No trucks. Oh, these rifles are going to be all over my face. That is not good. Advanced cannot attack. All right, so I took out the anti-tank. Took out the armored car and the tank. Okay, so we're just here. Took out the machine guns. I have a half track. HE advance. All right, so these guys are all gonna move into my face. And this half track's gonna move up here. All right, so we will start with the half track. Okay, five going up against the experienced anti-tank team. And that's a miss. All right, so now we go to the rifles. Oh, this guy moves up. All right, so the rifles. Who do they go after? They're going after the infantry because that's the easiest to hit, as far as I understand. They uh, go for the easiest hit first, so that's going to be the experienced anti-tank team. Let me just double check on what their priority is. Okay, yeah, so they're going to focus on infantry, which is the experienced anti-tank team. Uh, so they have fives. They moved, so they get minus two. So this is sevens. Sevens to hit. Double hit. Need fours. 
saved one, but taking a hit on the other. Let's see if I draw a little bit better. Like last turn, casualty. All right, so they survive. Second one goes. And that's one hit. Let's see if I can save it. Nope. Take another counter. Mow down. How many of these am I going to pick? Jeez Louise. Experienced anti tank team. That's 111. This is a good German unit. All right, so now the last one's going to go after experienced rifle team. And that's one hit, but I get a plus, I get a five, and I don't make it. Oh my. If I get another mow down, Commander Wounded. All right, so Commander Wounded. One SODO cannot enter battle. Okay. All right. I got to take care of these guys. So slow. I get, uh, I need sevens going after a rifle, of course. And that is a miss. Okay, this rifle team is going to move over here. They're going to take a stress. Two attacks and minus two. So I need sevens going after the rifle. That's one hit, so they get uh, four, and they miss, so that's one rifle dead. And now the mortars, going to lob onto them. Um, some marksmen, so that's five, so twos, need twos, got one hit. And he's dead because they don't get the um, terrain because he's a marksman. All right, so we move to down to turn four. And got to take care of these rifle dudes. Get them out of the way. All right, so we got fast. So we'll start with these guys, he's a close combat expert, so that's good. I knew if they came in, um, close combat expert, roll one extra close combat die. All right, so we got three, so he is plus two, so he needs twos to hit the rifle. And he hit all, all three times, so they get fours on their defense, one save, but the other one is dead. Perfect. All right, so experienced rifle team finally takes them out. Hellcat. Hellcat's the only thing that can really take out these armored units now. So we are going to fire at the close one. Six. Three plus, so that means I need threes, and that's a hit, so twos. He saved once, but not the other, so that half track is dead. D E A D, dead. All right, so now they are at two, four, six, eight, nine, so they're at half strength. So they lose the plus two, so it's just going to be a straight up roll for their tactical movement. And that's a six. Um, so all we have left are anti-tank guns and mortars. And then the half tracks. So nobody's going to move. Um, see, this, this is actually working to my advantage now. So nobody can fire, well, the mortars can. Oh, did I shoot that mortar? All right, he needs an eight to hit this infantry. He gets one eight. 
Infantry gets a five, and they save it, good. And finally, and this mortar is going to shoot at this guy here because he has no cover, and so he needs an eight, and he does not get it. And so now I go to the slow turn. So it's these guys right here. So he... Hmm. All right, so the mortar is going to go after this mortar right here. Uh, range of two, so I get a four. One hit, so he gets a two, and he's dead. Excellent. And I can move my mortars into position. Um, hmm. I'm going to count on my Hellcat destroying that half track. So I'm going to move the rifle team up. And the experience, well, experience can't move. Scout car is going to stay right where it is. And now we go to the next turn. Okay, so they're down to two, four, six, seven. So I just need to take out one of these guys and I'm good to go. So the half trap is going to get taken out right now by my Hellcat. All right, so the Hellcat's going to shoot at the half track and that is going to be a four. Double hit, he needs, got marksman, so twos, he's dead. And I move up my infantry to here. Hopefully they're not exposed. And then everybody else is just gonna sit back until slow. All right, so they, let's see what their tactical is, eight. Um, these guys advance to cover, so that's not good. But I don't think they get to fire, do they? Uh, Anti-tank mortars cannot fire, awesome. So they're going to move into my wheelhouse here. That's going to be good. So they can't fire. Shoot, I need to get this guy out of the way. All right, so we got the slow. So my mortar, this is for the game. If I could take out one of those guns, then they're finished. So I've got marksmen, so the heavy is not gonna work for them. Uh, it is range one, two, so minus two. So I get plus one, so I need fours. And I'm gonna go after the anti-tank gun. Four, I missed, no! All right, I got the rifle team here. And it doesn't really matter who I go after. So I'm gonna go after the anti-tank gun. I get no bonuses or anything, but they're going to get covered, which is not good. All right, so I need fives to take out an anti-tank gun. I get one hit and they get fours. No! 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 No, 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 no. Man, I sh knew I should have moved this guy up. Well, I'm going to move him up now. And so he's going to need eights to hit the anti-tank gun. This is a desperate move. Got one hit. Fours. Got him. And that'll do it. They are now destroyed. Whew. So I got an extra stress here, a commander wounded here, and this guy is just hanging out without a unit because I lost so much. That was a brutal battle. And uh, the survivors are very happy to survive that one. Battle of the Bulge is starting to get real scary because I need these guys for that final assault on the HQ. Uh, I'm on now that I've won this battle, I gained seven SO points. 
uh, for that. So let's see what the final event is. Pay one SO point to subtract two stress. Oh, I don't have any more. Dang it. All right, well. Oh, and uh, I'm going to use this one to get rid of the command wounded commander. All right, so I could have gotten these guys for free, but I got... Wait, does that happen before or after this one? How do the mechanics work? Because if I get these seven SO points, when you destroy a total of four battalions, so I destroyed my forts, so I get seven. Oops. Does that happen? Let's see. No, event card happens first, and then the battalion status. <coughs> So battalion status is destroyed, um, and I'm going to take the stress, but I can pay for it. Um, I just lose four points. That's okay. I'm okay because <clears throat> I probably need it for the next battle. All right, so that's battle one. Next up is the heavy weapons, which is basically the same thing minus the armored cars and the half tracks. So that's why I put this Hellcat in there. But as you can see, this, this unit is totally decimated. So we'll see what happens on the final battle, going up against heavy weapons with the rest of my troops, which are over here. They've got a scout as well. And uh, yeah, we'll see if, uh, if I can hang on and save enough forces to go after that HQ in the final boss battle. Our little housekeeping, Kowalski gets promoted on his command thing, so uh, good for Kowalski.